got off track with that first video, but I'm gonna go ahead and upload it still, even though I said you know a lot, I didn't realize. But you, if it works whenever you watch yourself on video because you realize some of your some of your little habits and you can try to fix them so hopefully I'll try to watch how much I say that that phrase um, and also I'm trying to I'm gonna try and stay on track with this uh, with this one and try to cut it short because I just kept going on and on about the show and uh, I like like went on a lot longer than I intended. I think it was like 15 minutes. So, uh, just uh, anyway. Long story short, my favorite character is Phyllis, female-wise. My favorite male character probably right now is. I still got love for Jack. Yeah, I'm a ride or die Jack fan. But right now, Billy seems to be getting you know, built like the actor's really great and Billy gets you know good stories so I don't know if the actor is gonna stay on the show for very much longer or not I notice he shows up on TV and you always hear threats that he's gonna be leaving so it's probably only a matter of time before he's gone so right now my two favorites you know female Phyllis male Billy or Jack on any of it you know just depending <laughs> and I said it um, my least favorites are male wise Kane because he came on in 2006 and I still have absolutely no idea, no idea what this character is really about. He's as much as like Lily has forgiven him for the crap that he's pulled, and as much as you know, Catherine and Jill even you know, they've all forgiven him. He treats his mother like shit, and he's you know, a, <laughs> he's you know, a D-I-C-K, and, uh, my least favorite female, I guess, is Eden, right now, because, same thing, she kind of, like, it's what they did with M Mackenzie, with Mac, like, she started off with a distinct personality whenever she was a teenager, uh, she was moody, kind of, you know, kind of, like a negative Nancy, and then they uh, recasted her and brought her back as a young adult, and not only is she nothing like what she was before, but they brought her on, like, they made a point of bringing this character on that had, we could have done without, and they haven't had any real purpose with her. They kind of, they flew, they threw her around with, with, the second time they threw her with Daniel and that fizzled and then Kyle and now neither one of them are really on the show they're probably I think the writers are probably gonna get rid of them pretty soon whenever they're get whenever they get the okay for it but I mean Summer if 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 Jack turns out to be Summer's dad sometime down the line like everyone suspects then she could honestly say that Eden has slept with all three of her brothers. So that's. So now we're going to talk about the new writers. That the new writers. It's um, Josh Griffith, I think, and Jill Farron Phelps. And that's the one that I won't forget. No, like Josh Griffith. I don't really know too much about as a writer. I think Hogan Sheffer still writes. Is still writing for for them and. I was impressed with Hogan Sheffer's writing when he came on Days because he really turned that show around back in 2006. Cause, so I don't have really anything negative to say about Hogan Sheffer and I can't really, you know, unless I know what he's responsible for, so I can't really put my opinion out there that much. So I'm pretty positive in, my, in regards to Hogan Sheffer. Jill Farron Phelps, on the other hand, she... Um, she was in charge over at General Hospital. She was the producer there, and it was awful. I'll uh, get into that on like on another on another video. But she um, so when she came on, 
I it didn't look good for me. Like it didn't really look good because she has a bad history with just messing soaps up, and whether or not she is doing it on purpose, it's just who knows. Because you always hear you like the you always hear people suspecting that she like wants to ruin the soap opera so the fans will you not want to watch them anymore and uh that way you know when they cancel the show there would be no like no backlash but i don't think that's the case now because when this happened with uh all my children and one life to live both got canceled at the same time over there at abc daytime and the fans just went ape shit and uh they fired they fired the president of abc daytime and uh i mean they did everything they could to, you know to because they wanted to save money on talk shows and it just bit them in the ass so they're doing they're working there like you can see they're working their ass off over on General Hospital making it. It's definitely improved. I would recommend you watch it if you, you know, got turned off by under Bob, whenever it was under Bob Guza and Jim, Jill Thur and Phelps. But back to her. Um, I hope that she's trying to, tried to improve and I hope that she kind of took a look at what she was doing wrong and like decided to work on it. That's, I'm hoping. Because right now it's questionable because she's doing things that you would expect her to do, except in this particular circumstance, it's not the wrong thing to do. Like, um, she got rid of, she got rid of, um, who'd she get rid of? She got rid of, uh, Jeannie Francis and, uh, Debbie Morgan. Jeannie Francis, Debbie Morgan, come on, um... Heather, uh, uh, Michael Landon's daughter, what is her name? The actress that played Heather, um, got rid of her. Um, I think they're gonna get rid of Daniel. He's not even on it really that much anymore. And like I said, I think they're getting, I think they're about to get rid of Kyle because they, Jack mentioned the other day that he was intern, like doing an internship or interview internship or something somewhere. And I, and I just don't really, like, I can't really think of any reason why, except maybe to get, like, some closure with his relationship with Jack, because that's pretty iffy. You know, it'd be nice if Kyle got to see the real Victor Newman. Um, and they got rid of... They recasted uh, Noah and Summer, which <laughs> I would have liked to. I would like to see how they fired those two actors because, like, couldn't you just imagine? Because uh, it was Kevin Schmidt and I don't know the I don't know the actress that played Summer, but couldn't you just imagine just you know them being like, well, we got some good news and we got some bad news. The good news is we're gonna really flesh out your characters. We're gonna give them we're gonna give them some. Uh, and you know interesting storylines Noah's going to get a new girlfriend and uh Summer's going to be in a very tumultuous relationship with Phyllis and you know the actors are like great 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 what's the bad news and it's like well we're getting we're getting two different actors to play those characters <laughs> so that sucks but like I said Noah was a really I don't know why they got rid of Kevin Schmidt um because he really was a good actor but uh the only thing I could think of was that he just wasn't a really, like, a strong enough romantic lead. But that's the only thing I could think of. Because the new Noah, he's not a bad actor. But he's very he's very chiseled and very dark. And so they could probably put him with, like, if one pairing doesn't work, they could easily put him with, they could easily put him with another female. Whereas I could see with Kevin Schmidt, he's blonde and he's kind of, uh, not pale, I don't want to say pale, but I mean, very fair, you know? <laughs> and, uh, so they would probably, it would probably be harder just to pair him off with, with the female, but, and then there was the rumor that Noah might be gay, but 
I wasn't disappointed when if that when you find when I found out that he broke up with a girlfriend in New York because I just couldn't really picture myself having to go through another like coming out storyline, especially when Days just got through with it. And it's just it's to the point to where it's just boring now. They need to like it'd be one thing if they did something like Noah came back from New York and he's got this big secret and he's finally like, you know, I'm gay and everyone in the family's like, Well we know, we were just waiting for you to for you to you know, tell us. We didn't want to push you into it. That would have been awesome. We got your back or whatever. He's like, well, that sucks because I got addicted to drugs while I was in New York because I thought you guys wouldn't accept me. And so now I'm hooked on crystal meth or cocaine or something. That would have been a storyline I could have gotten into. As it is, I'm glad that they went down. He, they didn't. They decided not to go down that route with him being gay. And he's, you know, straight because... At least there might be a chance he'll do, you know, he'll get a better story out of it. Summer, I was in line with her, the actress going because she just, uh, I don't want to say she was bad, she just wasn't very expressive. And I couldn't imagine her doing the storyline that they got for this new summer now with the cyberbullying and you get to... I know people probably hate her, but I could pick. I could imagine people starting to warm up to her down the line. Just because some of the best characters start off as like you know, as really bad, kind of bratty bad guys. So we'll have to see about summer. But I think I think you know if they do it right, she could be great. If they just don't like, if they don't just turn it into all about summer. And hopefully they won't do that. So yeah, casting wise, yeah, Jill, Jill Farron Phelps. She kind of, she pretty much. While I, a lot of people are like are upset about her firing those people, especially, especially um, they knew what it was going to happen with Jeannie, Jeannie Francis because Jill Farron Phelps and Jeannie Francis, the, reportedly they just didn't get along. Like Jill Farron was like being a bitch to Jeannie Francis because Jeannie had gained weight on General Hospital and anyone that's watched General Hospital knows what they did to Laura it was really messed up um, and so there so I don't really you can't really tell yet like it seems to work out it seems to be working out pretty well I reportedly they wanted to let even more people go but the powers that be told them no so just be happy that that was all that they got rid of, and storyline-wise, they're I think they're gonna make Adam like it's it looks like Adam's gonna start doing some uh, nasty things like some bad things like he used to. So it just depends on where you fall with that. If you like Adam as you know the milder version with Chelsea, then it's not it's not gonna look good for you. But if you liked him when he's you know, causing trouble and doing some real kind of twisted things, then you're you're in luck. Uh, then there's the the storyline with uh, Adam with uh, Chelsea kind of going crazy. Like it's easy to see that. Like it's easy to say that maybe they're trying to make Chelsea look bad in order to prop Adam and Sharon. But at the same time, the actress that played Chelsea. Um, Melissa Egan, she played that similar role on All My Children, where I don't know who she was with. I think it was Ryan. She was. Um, I didn't watch All My Children all that much. I just uh, kind of um, paid attention to it, like to what was going on, and uh, so like I would read about like what was going on. Maybe it would pique my interest or whatever, and. Uh, she was the third wheel, kind of like she is now. She was the third where uh, with Ryan and, I guess, um, Greenlee, or maybe it was Kendall, I don't know. But uh, she was going crazy, too. And I think she was Billy's, like the actor that plays Billy. I think they were brother and sister on that show. But um, she was, she became unhinged. 
and uh, instead of like killing her off or you know writing her into a loony bin because she did such a good job playing crazy and also you know playing just being very uh, like having that much range they kept her on and fans loved her so they could be trying to they they could be just trying to showcase Melissa Egan's range uh, and not you know just to prop Sh Adam and Sharon and you know down the line who knows Mo you could see her with even even better love interest than Adam like you could you know she might have mad chemistry with Noah or you know something who knows you gotta you just gotta wait and see that's what the thing with soap operas you can't just get upset because something's going on right now because you don't really know what the grand plan is. I'm hopeful that, I'm hopeful that, um, 